What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Just Falls. We're back at it again with another video, and today we're looking at the Super Mario Bros. Wonder Direct. Um, so this is for the new Super Mario Brothers uh, side-scrolling adventure. Uh, so we don't gotta waste some more time. It's self-explanatory. It's Mario. So let's, without further ado, let's get to the video. It's me, Mario. Big old gang in them. Welcome Boop. to the Flower Kingdom, a not so distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah! Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, Bowser. had other plans. With just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower. The hell? Bowser merged with <laughs> Prince Florian's castle. Word? Yo, Bowser be on demon time, like, 24-7. I know there's some instances where he helped out. He had to help out. He had to help Mario out just due to the situation. But when he's against Mario, he be on demon time, bro. He's like Goku and Frieza. Like, Frieza had to end up helping him in the tournament of power. But, like, anytime they're against each other, demon timing. Look at this. This is ridiculous. The music. If my guitar was set up, I would play that riff right now. His newfound power, chaos spread across the land. Now, it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. All right, let's get it. Super Mario Wonder Brothers In this Direct. presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, the Super Mario Brothers Wonder Game. Let's jump in. Let's get it. This is the Flower Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, making a total of seven areas to explore. Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. Why are you not collecting the coins? Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant cascades of shining falls. Traverse multiple islands, dive into the sea, and spelunk through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the There's eye There's always got to be a desert an area for Mario. Forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of molten magma. Oh, well, you got that honey more. pack. A rich variety Mario got that honey pack. Wait in each world. Move around the map in each world to select a course. You can even walk freely through open areas you find. In these spaces, if you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. I like play that. Play them in any order you like. Once you've played a course, you can quickly come back to it through the courses menu. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. Roller Koopa Derby. While in courses, you might notice some talking flowers. Get close and onward and upward. Oh, okay. How'd you get up here? What a pretty sunset. They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. They might give you hints. Why would you wonder you that? Get over there. Or coins. You'd share your water with me? That that char that that character got more lines than Mario. God damn. Besides Mario, you can also play as got more vocal lines than Mario. Luigi. Hey. Peach. Hey, you can play with the whole game. Daisy. Let's go. One of two toads and Toadette. Let's go. They all play the same, so go with your favorite or mix it up. 
the Yoshis and Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. Careful though, they'll still lose a life if they fall down a pit. So watch your step. Oh, so that's that's for the that's for the kids. That's for the kids. Okay. That's 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 for the kids. Like to play uh, Yoshi and what's the name? Hold on, my f yeah. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects. Hold on, my phone ring. God damn it. All right, I'm back. And spit them back at enemies. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Hoppy cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. <laughs> That's so annoying. They take a while to come back down, though. Plants will spit seeds from their mouths. Condarts will fly at you and stick their beaks where they don't belong. Huh. When conks attack, They'll even plow through goo. Mumsies can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. Mamas will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. <laughs> there are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas. Of course, the classics. Classics. Boos. Classic. Locky twos. Classic. And other familiar foes are also here. New power up. You get bubbles, Next, a drill, the and an elephant. You can find. In elephant form, make the most of your nose and your size. Swing your trunk to attack enemies. Destroy blocks and even do this. In this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? If you store water in your know. trunk, and spray the, all the iframes. Who knows what might happen? Thank you. That trunk sure is useful, huh? It's not just Mario, though. Luigi, the Toads, Peach, Daisy, and Toadette all have elephant forms as well. The bubble form allows you to blow light floating bubbles. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. Oh, that's kind of cool. They'll also drift toward nearby foes. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. Hey, you that's kind of cool. I like that. Like platforms. That's cool too. Bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard to reach places. Just like that. <sighs> While in drill form, you'll get a pretty nifty drill. This okay. makes dealing with spiky. Or so can you summon? Enemy. Can, you, can you summon drill rappers? Can you summon New York New York drill rappers with the drill? It's a breeze. Or you can use it to drill down. It also allows you to burrow and oh, that's fine. through the ground. That's fine. In a tough spot, dig away. You can even burrow into the ceiling. Nice. You'd be cheesing that ability. I wasn't expecting company. Plus, the classic fire form makes a return. I must say, you gotta have fire form. And you can hang on to an extra power up. Oh, you and can swap pow the stuff. Out a power up. Or swap them to better fit the situation. That's tough. They should have been. You should have been been able to do that. This is a wonder flower, a plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, a wonder effect will trigger, causing some interesting changes. Pipes might start moving. 
<laughs> a stampede of enemies can appear. Hey, yo. The terrain may tilt. Uh oh. You can end up in a free fall. Bubbles might uh bubble up. That different. Your perspective can change. Top down, Mario. Or you might float through space. There are even wonders where your character transforms. Mario might become a Goomba. A Goomba. Wow. Or a spike ball. Or blow up like a balloon. When you touch a wonder flower, always expect the unexpected. Wonderful. Collect a wonder, a wonder seed, seed, and the course will return to normal. Some courses need That's to be unlocked be using the wonder seeds you've collected. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. Slow your fall with the Parachute Cap Badge. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the Wall Climb Jump Badge. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the Dolphin Kick Badge. You can also break underwater blocks. Charge up a bounding leap with the Crouching High Jump Badge. Mm. Shoot vines in midair and stick to walls with the Grappling Vine Badge. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the safety bounce badge. Oh, nice. Easily find important items using the sensor badge. They give you a variety of power ups. Draw in nearby Moolah with the coin magnet badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the invisibility badge. You will not stop dashing with the jet run badge. And you can run in the air for you can run a bit. Over, You can run over gaps, too. There are many more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. Only one badge can be equipped per course. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Some badges can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it! while others can be purchased from poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to exchange flower coins you collect in courses for badges. Up to four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a player is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. If another player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. Your group won't lose a life either. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Even if you're also playing as a Yoshi, or if you're an elephant. Oh, if online you connect too? online, Lit. you might see other players on the world map and in courses. These are people from around the world enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Just like in local co-op, if you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Can send greetings and share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. I mean, you damn near playing together. Damn you near. You can also place a standee in a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not-so-easy areas and help your fellow players. You can purchase standee surprises from the poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. 
reviving ghosts, gifting items, reaching the goal pole together, and more will earn you heart points. <laughs> While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. In a shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Start a race by hitting the race block. Oh, you can race then through the course. Run for it. Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race, though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder seed or defeat a boss instead. Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races, you can enhance your experience this is with cool. online play. What a beautiful day! You could tell they put a lot of thought into this. This was this was this is cool. They got you got online, you got multiple powers, you can switch between powers. Um you got the wonder seed, which causes all types of wacky things to happen. They put a lot of thought into this. Jump into the unexpected with Mario and friends Whoa. when mm -hmm. Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October Next month. 20th. Okay. I told it was going to be a big month. A new Nintendo Switch OLED Ooh. model Mario Red Edition is also on the way. Ooh, yeah, you I'm buying that. You'll find Mario I'm buying that. And some hidden coins. I don't have a Switch OLED yet, but that red looks fire. I'm buying that. The Nintendo Switch OLED model October 6th, Mario Red Edition say less. launches October 6th. I'm going to take a picture of this so, so I don't forget. Because I usually like to go through my phone and see. Yep. Mario Red. Yeah, we copping that for surely. Next. Wow. Okay, that was cool. That was really cool. All right. So that was self-explanatory. I, I love I loved the amount of like abilities you get i like the fact that you can play online with randos or you can play online with friends or you can play locally with friends that's added a new wrinkle to the game i like the amount of power-ups they added i like the amount of new enemies they added um the graphics look amazing this is like the one probably the best looking 2d mario game so far this in Mar super mario rpg like the remake is gonna be. I don't know if it's a remake or a remaster or a direct port. I'm guessing it's a remaster or remake because that game was really old and it never came out over here in the United States. So I'm waiting on that too. I'm waiting on more information for that. Hopefully they do a direct on that too. But this is gonna be dope. I I I I was like, yeah, I'll probably wait on buying this game, let it come out and see what happened. But after watching this, I think I want a day one cop and. It, it'll be one of the, again one of those games I kind of keep to myself and play on my own time and just post clips for y'all on the channel. So yeah, so yeah, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Is this cool? Are you Mario fans? I'm assuming if you click this video, you're a Mario fan. Let me know. So y'all already know the vibes. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's your boy just falls me out. One. Two.